Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Provience, and today I'm grilling pork and pepper kebabs with a traditional Spanish marinade. I just love this recipe. It works out great every time. And what I want to do now is show you why it works so well. First thing is that the meat is really tender and juicy. For it to be that way, your first step is actually to remove what's called the silver skin. You can see it right here. It's this thin layer of, of connective tissue that is as tough and rubbery as, well, rubber bands. Um, so you need to get this off initially. The way to do that is to take a knife and slip it underneath the silver skin, trying not to get into the meat because you want to keep that in place. And then you just run your knife right underneath it over the meat and back this way, always facing the blade of the knife away from you. So if you slip, you don't hurt yourself. And now that's been cleaned off and it's my first step to making really juicy kebabs. The second thing is the marinade, which features some really wonderful ingredients, including this, ordinary parsley. I mean, most people think of it as ordinary and something you just garnish a plate with, but it actually has a really wonderful herbal flavor. So I use plenty of it. Also, there is this beautiful sherry vinegar. If you didn't have it, you could get away with red wine vinegar, but this has a deeper, richer, smoother, and also smokier quality, which really suits the recipe. Speaking of smoke, I'm also using a smoked paprika. This is made with chili peppers that are dried in the sun and smoked, and they have a lot of intensity. It adds great character to the pork. Cumin also has a smoky, earthy quality. Garlic is always welcome in Mediterranean food. And then, of course, salt. Salt is the most important seasoning on the planet. I use it here in the marinade, and then again a little bit later. And now I'm ready to grill. The meat has been cubed and marinated for anywhere between four to eight hours and put on skewers with some uh, red and green bell peppers. I preheated the grill on high, okay? This is really hot because really the third thing that makes this recipe work so well is the char. That flavor on the meat and the vegetables makes a huge difference. And in order to achieve that, you need to lay all that meat on a very hot fire and just let the heat do its thing. A lot of people at this point have a temptation to start fiddling with it, turning the skewers around, and that doesn't do you any good because it robs you of the potential of a really deep, beautifully charred surface. So I'm going to close the lid and let it go for at least two or three minutes until I see deep, dark brown flavor. So there you have it. Just pay attention to those four things, right? You want to clean the meat, remove that silver skin so it's nice and tender. You want to marinate it in some fabulous ingredients. Grill the meat until it's got that nice brown, deep brown char on it. Finish it with a little bit of salt. You've got yourself some fabulous pork and pepper kebabs.